Are you in a relationship with a Filipino? Especially Cebuanos and Cebuanas? How was your communication with your in-laws? Or soon to be in-laws? So not all in-laws or parents can express themselves in English. Probably they are shy or embarrassed to speak English to a foreigner, right? So do you want to at least have a communication with your in-laws in Cebuano? Well, anyway, hi everyone. So welcome back to our channel. So for this video, I'm going to share some expressions you can use for your in-laws. First, let's learn how to say in-laws in Cebuano. So we say, Ugangan. Ugangan. It means in-law. So when you say mother-in-law, we say, Ugangan nga babayi. Contraction, Ugangan babayi. Ugangan babayi. Father-in-law, is ugangan nga lalaki ugangan lalaki so you can say sila ang akong mga ugangan it means they are my in-laws so how do you call your in-laws mama or papa or in short ma or pa well, here in the Philippines, it's common to say ma or pa. Now, let's learn some expressions that you can use for your in-laws. Tabangan tika. Tabangan tika. So, it means, I'll help you. So, you can put ma or pa at the beginning or at the end. So, you can say, ma. Tabangan tika. Or, tabangan tika ma. Tabangan tika pa. So, if your in laws are doing household chores or carrying some bags, you should help them and say, tabangan tika ma. Aww. Or, you can say, ako yung dala anak ma. Aww. It means, I'll carry that. So, it shows that you're gentleman or you're nice, you're good to your in-laws. Next, Salamat kaayo sa pag-atiman nako. Salamat kaayo sa pag-atiman nako. It means, thank you for taking care of me. So, before you go back to your country, of course, you say something to your in-laws. So, being grateful to them, you say, Salamat kaayo sa pagatiman ako ma. Or you can also say, Dagang salamat ma pa. Sunod puhon na sad. Sunod puhon means, See you next time. Or, See you soon. So, there's no exact time when will you be back here in the Philippines? So, we just say, Sunod pohon. Next, Pwede kuni mo tudluan unsaon pagluto. Og. Like for example, Adobo, Pansit, Lumpia. So, I mean Filipino food. So, in English, it means, uh, Can you teach me how to cook adobo, pancit, lumpia, and so on. So these are Filipino dishes. I think there are some foreigners who wants to learn how to cook some Filipino dishes because if your wife or maybe husband 
would crave something like a Filipino food, you can cook for them. So you can ask your in-laws to teach you how to cook Filipino food. Like, Ma, pwede po ni mutudluan ang saon pagluto o adubo? Or pansit? Or you can ask your father-in-law how to cook lechon baboy if you want. <laughs> Next, ako na lang ang mupalit ma. Unsa akong paliton? Ako na lang ang mupalit ma. Unsa akong paliton? It means, I'll buy it. What will I buy? Usually, the mother-in-law wakes up early in the morning to prepare meals. And if you happen to wake up early too, and then your mother-in-law needs something, then you can present yourself to buy outside. So, that's why you can also check this video how to buy something in the store. So you can say, Ako lang ang mupalit ma. Unsa akong paliton? You can also use these expressions to your wife or husband. Or probably your Filipino wife would ask you to buy something in the store. Like, Palit dito! Palit dito og asin! Palit dito og patis! <laughs> That's a Filipino wife. But, uh, yeah. So, you should present yourself to buy something to help your mother-in-law. Next, Unsa ang imong ganahan kanon or imnon? Unsa ang imong ganahan kanon or imnon? It means, what do you want to eat or drink? So, if your in-laws are sick and you want to buy something for them, you can ask, what do they want? So, unsa ang imong ganahan kan ma or imnon? Next, okay ra ka ma? Okay ra ka pa? It means, are you okay? So, this is really... A simple questions and commonly used questions how you're doing or how are you but if you ask this to your in-laws they really appreciate it because it means you care for them you think about them so it's just a simple questions okay raka or when your in-laws are doing something or when you're traveling together with your in-laws you can ask this to check if they're doing fine or if they're okay. So, okay, rakama. Alright, so these are the expressions that you can use for your in-laws. So that's all for this video. Again, salamat sa sunod na sad.